Hey, I'm Danny, a NOCA consultant here at SMB Virtual Consulting, and I'm super excited to share with you a brand new feature that Airtable just released a few weeks ago that allows you to generate an output from a formula as a single select field without using any sort of annoying automations. Let's go ahead and dive in and see how it works. I went ahead and created this space in Airtable so that I can show how this new feature works in Airtable. So I'm pretending right now that I'm a shop owner, I sell multiple different things, and I'm keeping track of all of my inventory and categorizing it, and also keeping track of my orders and line items. Then I'll show you how to implement this quick and useful feature that enables you to use single select field versus a formula, saving you loads of time and also improving the user experience. Now let's quickly go over our Airtable base that I created in order to demo this new feature and show you a real life application and how this can help. So I'm pretending that I'm a shop owner. I sell multiple different types of products and I need a way to keep track of my products, orders, and order line items. So first I created a table for categories where I listed out all the categories that I sell in and also linked my products table right over here and categorized them. Then I created a products table over here. This is where I'm going to keep track of things like my sale price, my item cost, my profit, which I went ahead and did a formula for, and then linked back to my categories table so I can even see where they fall under categories on my products table. Then we're going to move on over to our orders. This is where we're going to keep track of all of our orders and we're going to keep track of the order number, order date, order line items that I'm linking back to my order line items table. We're keeping track of the quantities and then rolling up the totals, the costs, and the profit. Now moving on to our order line items. This is where we're going to link back to orders. We're going to keep track of our order date and we're even going to make a formula right here in this column where we're actually pulling the year from the order date in this column and making a formula to where it's only showing the year. And then also we're linking back to the products, the categories, and then keeping track of other important information. Once your structure on Airtable is complete, you can then move on to create an interface. This is the secret sauce of Airtable. This is why we all know and love Airtable. So I've already created an interface. We go up here to the top bar and click on interface and it pulls it up right here. This is where we're going to have a snapshot of how our business is doing according to like order totals, item cost, item profit, etc. even items by category. So we have filters right here for orders where we can toggle between, you know, multiple different orders and even multiple different categories. Right now, I'm only able to filter by orders and categories, but what I really want to do is filter by year so I can see how my business is performing year over year. Well, with Airtable's new feature, you go back to your data view and you go into where we see order year right here, but it's a formula. So prior to where this feature got released, you could never do a single select field with a formula field. Well, now things have changed. So we're going to go over here. We're going to click on the drop down. We're going to hit edit fields and we already have our daytime format of formula entered right here. So it's pulling the year from the order date and we're going to go over here to formatting and we're going to toggle on this change formula output to a single select option. We're going to click it on. We're going to click color coded options. I've already filled out all of the uh, single select options, which are all the years that we've been in business. So 2022, 2023, 2024, and I've even added in a default in case some formula gets messed up. It doesn't mess up the whole table. It'll show up as a default, or you can even put like error on this as well. I like color coding them as well. So we're going to hit save and we're going to confirm changes and see. So all of these are displaying now as a single select field. Now we're going to go back over to interfaces. 
Now that we're back in our, into our interface, we're seeing that we can only filter by orders and categories. So in order for you to display that formula to single select option that we just did in our data table, you go over here and add an extra filter. So we're gonna hit the blue plus sign and we're gonna select order year. All right, now that we've gone ahead and added the filter of the order year, we're gonna go ahead and see how the user experience would look from their perspective. So once you complete this task, go over here, hit publish, and then that way we can preview and see exactly how they would see it. So right now we're viewing all of our order totals, costs, and profit as a whole over all the years. But what we wanna do is see how our sales compared from 2022 to 2024. So we're gonna click 2022 right here, and this is gonna pull in all the totals, costs, and profit from the year 2022. It looks like we only had um, you know, three items ordered. We made about close to $2,000. So we're gonna go over here and unselect 2022 and select 2024. And wow, our order totals went up by $4,500 from 2022 to 2024. You can see our item cost went up. We had 10 additional sales and then our item profit went up as well. So that is definitely the perk of going ahead and adding in the order year right here. And it's as simple as that. Not only is this helpful with interfaces, but it's also helpful for dashboards or database views. By implementing this new feature, your data looks cleaner and you save time versus the old standard text value input that we used to have to do. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And as always, please like and follow our page to stay up to date on all of our tutorials that we're gonna be releasing to help you tackle your no-code solutions out in the real world.